So, that was a phone call in the hallway, huh? I think we're done up here. Let's go downstairs. A couple of potential witnesses are waiting in the lobby. We need to track down that Diaz guy. Uh, we need to track that Diaz guy down, maybe. Maybe one of them has seen him leave or spoke to him. Go ahead and question them. You should have a look around. It's, it's no crime scene, but you never know where you'll find a clue. I'll be waiting at the reception. Come get me once you're done. We can leave this place. Okay. No, I want to... Yeah. Make sure there was nothing in the hallway out here, but okay. Can I go back up? Heh! <laughs> Sucker. Okay, cool. I'm going to join this lady for tea. No, actually, I'm not. I just want to make sure there's no clue up here. No. Okay. Gotta look for the clues, guys. Gotta look for those raging clues. I gotta get the hardest clue ever. Oh my god. Alright. Saito, anything new? Well, I tried to find out how Diaz escaped from the hotel. I'm gonna guess he used the front door before we locked the place down. Fanny was shot at 1.39. I suppose that Diaz left shortly after, probably between 1.45, 2.15. Uh, we have an idea when he left. The big question right now is how? Uh, there's a functioning ID scanner at the door that only picked him up once when he arrived. Oh, okay, interesting. It means he can't have left through the front door. Maybe he never left at all. Maybe he's disguised himself as the receptionist. Uh-huh. Could he still be here? No, I've had my drone scan the whole building for the ID twice already. But if it's a fake ID, he could have just used a different one to leave. Did anybody leave at that time? That's what I would be asking. He must have gone out through the back door, but you can't get far that way by foot. My theory is that he was picked up by a getaway driver in a backyard. Uh, there's a vehicle tracker on the launch pad that scans each car at the exact time it lands there. Cars aren't allowed to stick around for long after the launch pad. It's just meant for quick deliveries and pickups. Here's the thing. I went to ask the guard to pull the data for me a couple of minutes ago. He said someone had turned it off earlier tonight. Swore it wasn't him and he hadn't noticed. Hmm. We have to find out who it was. If we confront whoever helped Diaz get away, we might find out where he went. I'm sending a sheet to your cell. God, you guys and your sheets. Submit it as soon as you think you know who disabled the tracker. Maybe the traffic data will still help, even though you know, part's missing. The guard said your AR module can read it directly from the scanner at the launch pad. That. Do, 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 do. Alright. All the way. Excuse me, sir. How can I help you? Do you see anybody leave between 1.30... 2.15? I was right here all night, but I really don't pay attention to that, sorry. We gave a concert earlier and I kept playing for the people that stuck around at that time of night? Bullshit. Thank you. Have you ever met a Mr. Diaz? Diaz, the guest from the 8th floor? I think I talked to him yesterday. He was having a late night drink at the bar after he arrived. I was picking up my things when he went to his room. I asked him about uh, the viola he was carrying. Oh man, it's the Italian mob. The gun was inside a violin case? Damn. Classic. Quite an expensive model, I have to say. Uh, did he show it to you? A viola? Sure. Uh, oh, did he show it to you? No, he kept it in his case. He generally wasn't the talkative type. And what did he look like? Could you describe the man? Uh, redhead, beard. Thank you. That's all for now. Okay, we got a redhead. Need to figure out the Diaz escape, but the murderer, the perp's hair is red. Okay, probably has a cut arm, a viola case for sure. A whiskey bottle. I mean, we know he has that. The beard is red as well, right? Said that the, uh... 
Redhead with a beard. He didn't say what color the beard was, but I would imagine he would have remarked if it was different. So we'll just leave that for now until we get everything possible. Excuse me, madam, could I ask a few questions? Okay. Did you see anybody leave between these hours? No, I was in the back kitchen clearing out some glass. Had a lot of dishes to do after the concert tonight. Can I go now? I have a young boy at home and the sitter can't stay that much longer. I'm sorry, but the hotel is in lockdown till further notice. You might want to give them a call. It could be a while until you can leave. Thank you. And I have another question. Okay. Did you meet Mr. Diaz? He was apparently drinking here. Diaz doesn't ring a bell. Don't think he ever came to my bar. You know he did. That's all for now. He helped. Pretty sure she helped. We know he was drinking at the bar. And she was like, oh no, no, didn't come to the bar. He didn't even like, it's like, oh, you know, but you know Mr. Diaz, right? You know Mr. Diaz. Otherwise you'd have been like, I don't remember the name. And you wouldn't be like, but he never came to the bar. He could have been anybody. Do you know the names of every patron? No. Okay, then. Could you answer some questions? It's about the vehicle tracker first. But the vehicle tracker was turned off tonight. Do you happen to know why that was? No idea, really. It's supposed to be running around the clock. Are you sure it was turned off and didn't malfunction? Pretty sure it was just offline. I turned it back on and it's running fine. Plus, it's only been there for two days. It's a good brand, too. Also, it was recently replaced. Can it be turned on or off from anywhere other than this booth? No. And it's just been you here all night, nobody else. No, I take a break sometimes. I usually ask uh, Felicia or, or Bern, uh, Berned, Berned to take over and keep an eye on everything. Felicia or Berned? Felicia the bartender, the one who won't shut up about her stupid kid. Berns the pianist. Did they take over for you tonight? Yeah, let me think. Felicia... 2200 burned, 045, for about 15 minutes. Any either one of those times they could have like, taken, like, that doesn't match the window where the guy left. Although, burned does, he's kind of close, 15 minutes. 1 a.m. But we know the gunshot wasn't until, like, what, 20 past 1-ish? Alright, thanks. Yeah, like, the 130... The 2.15 is the escape window. Have you met a Mr. Diaz? Diaz, who's that? That is the correct way to answer that question, not a, oh, he never came to my bar. A guest from the 8th floor arrived at night. No, I haven't talked to any guests in a while. Thanks. Did anybody leave here at 1.30 to 2.15? Or a car picking someone up? Could be. A bunch of people got picked up after the concert, so he fled with the concert guests. I'm more interested in people going in than out. I see, that makes sense. When was the concert over? Started at uh, 2030, took about three hours. Uh, but some people stuck around at, at the bar a little longer. Finished at 11.30. Okay. But it finished, the concert finished at 11.30. And then people stuck around for a lot, a little longer. The bartender... Hour and a half before that... Watched the back door. Then the pianist watched the back door... At about... Say about a half an hour. Or the gunshot. Let me double check a thing. When did she say the gunshot was? Sometime between one and two. Someone had popped a champagne cork. That's all we got.
we what was the actual time of the murder? Like we we would know when this happened, right? Traumatized secretary. There was no time there. Was well, some time around like one whatever, right? So I told locked the place down. Hotel briefing. We got a time somewhere, right? Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we got the actual time of the shot somewhere. I'm just trying to line everything up. Um, hmm. Well, let's see if we can... He said we could read the launch pad data, so that must be over this way somewhere. <clears throat> so maybe the pianist is the one who... actually did this. My thoughts are, whoever turned off this would want to do so as close as possible to the time when the guy needs to escape to avoid this thing being detected, but that's not always going to be the case. You know, they could be like, ah, turn it off, the, the booth guard isn't going to notice. And then the guy left at the same time as a whole bunch of other people were finally leaving the hotel after people stuck around for the bar. We know that the bartender, she did lie about seeing him. Ah, uh, it was him. Sorry, am I interrupting something? No, going for a smoke? Yep, might as well. Sounds like you're going to keep us here for a while. Probably. Hey, I have a question. Do you always store your whiskey in the backyard? That's an expensive brand to just leave out here. She is the sniper. Oh, looks like they forgot to bring in part of tonight's shipment. How would the bartender know? Was the whiskey dropped off here by a car? Yeah, the alcohol often comes in pretty late. Do you remember when they landed tonight? No. Wait, I do actually. I saw them arrive, or maybe he isn't then. I saw them arrive uh, when I went back after a break. Um, it was precisely... Yeah, so that lines up. 22.10. So if the whiskey's out here, how did it get served at the bar to be up in the freaking room? Are you sure about that time? Yeah, I was looking for my cell right at the moment because I got a message. Thank you. Pianist, huh? Oh. But he came out here just to check on us, maybe. No. Crate full of expensive looking whiskey. Okay, I thought it was those over there, but it's these here. Right, now we can read the sensor data. That's when it stopped. 2204. It is the bartender. But he was out here taking a break, but he wasn't watching the booth, right? He wasn't watching the booth. Alicia was. And we know a whole bunch of people came and went after the concert, and the concert didn't finish until 11.30. It was her. Because it yeah, he took a break at 10 o'clock at night, and for about 10 to 15 minutes, during that time, we know that there was a drop-off of whiskey at 10 past 10, and that is not logged. So this was shut off when the guard told us that Felicia was watching the booth. She's the one who helped, and I, I said, you know... If we trust the pianist, she lied about not having seen Mr. Diaz. Like, oh no, Mr. Diaz didn't come to my bar, and the pianist said, oh no, he was drinking there, like, late. And then she was like, oh, around the time he, that the guy left, yeah, I was, um, I was in the back. 
cleaning up. Nobody came through. It's like, well, he had to come through here to leave. It's her. She helped. Let's go see if there's any more chat we can do with people. Excuse me, madam. Could I ask a few more questions? Okay. About the vehicle tracker. It was turned off earlier. I'm trying to find out why. Do you know anything about it? I heard that you briefly took over for the guard a while ago. I did, but why would I turn off the tracker? I wouldn't even know how. Thank you. That's all. Liar. Liar. Pants on fire. Excuse me, sir. How can I help you? The vehicle tracker was turned off earlier tonight. I'm wondering if you might know something about it. Did you stand for the um, for the guard? I did, but just for a few minutes, and I touched nothing. Was the tracker still turned on when you were there? I really don't know. I sat there until he came back. Thank you. That's all for now. Mm-hmm. Up. Suspiciose. Excuse me, can I ask questions? Happy to help. So, did you see anybody leave between 1.30 and 2.15? We gotta ask everybody everything first. No, I was fast asleep until I got called down to the lobby. I have my own room upstairs. Your own room? You live here? Mostly, yes. Thank you. Happy to help. What did Diaz look like, by the way? I mean, we should have asked the receptionist. Unfortunately, I've never met him. The receptionist, uh, reception wasn't occupied when he checked in last night. How did he check in? Oh, he used our electronic check-in service. Thank you. Need to help. And the tracker. My colleague said that the tracker, the guard is in charge of the vehicle tracker in the backyard. Is that correct? Yes, Mr. Smith. Is the tracker ever turned off? Turned off? No, it operates around the clock. It, it doesn't usually break or have hiccups? I don't think so. It was installed the day before yesterday. I can't imagine that it's already acting up. But Mr. Smith can certainly answer your questions. Yes. He's not usually in contact with our clients. I apologize if he appears... untrained. <laughs> Thank you. That's all for now. Dude, get ready to bust Felicia. Oh, you don't, don't let her leave. I'm gonna go stand over here. De -de 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 -de. Gonna guard the back door. Alright, so in the sheet, Diaz's escape. Um, he escaped unnoticed because the vehicle tracker was turned off by the bartender. Boom. Submit. And, can we solve this then? The dude has red hair, a viola case, and his hair. We're gonna say his beard is red as well, potentially. That's still ongoing, though. I can't submit it yet. Okay, so I can't solve that, but I can do this. Excuse me, I'm afraid we have to have another chat. I've really got to get home soon. I don't know if you have kids. Yes, I do. Uh, but you've got to take care of The guard told me you took over of him during his break at 10 o'clock. After that, no more vehicles were scanned on the launch pad. However... The guard said people were picked up in the backyard all night. According to the pianist, there was a delivery shortly after 10. There's no record of it. The tracker must have already been turned off. You care to explain what's going on here? I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't be honest with me now, I'll have to take you in for questioning. What? No, I have to get home. Mr. Diaz is suspected of being involved in an interplanetary murder case. I don't have to tell you how serious it is to be complicit in something like that. Murder case? Shit, I, I didn't know what he was up to, okay? I was about... it was about the money. Did he kill someone? Please tell me everything from the start. Diaz was at my bar last night, which we know you lied about. He, he offered me a drink. At first I thought he was gonna hit on me. Then he said he needed my help, that he was expecting a visit today, and that the visitor wants to stay under the radar. He just asked me if I could do him a favor and turn the car tracker off. He offered me a bunch of money for it. I had to take it. I really needed it, okay? The babysitter is charging so much money these days. Do you understand tipping culture and the babysitting industry? It's horrendously extortionate. <sighs> I didn't think it would do any harm. 
I assumed it was about a secret lover, maybe a famous one. Wouldn't be the first time around here. It's also pretty commonplace that our guests ask for special favors. This was a pretty small one, honestly. Uh, not really. It is, it's classic, right? <laughs> <coughs> it's like the, the babysitters unionized like 25 years ago and the prices just keep going up. I can't pay them anymore. Then I saw Diaz leave tonight. He was picked up by a guy in a white van. Did it say free candy on the side? This could be a kid. Somebody kidnapped our, um, our murderer. Oh no. This is going to be a really weird case, guys. Yeah, find people short on money and uh, they'll make do. Exactly. I realized he had lied to me and I, I got cold feet. That's when I called in the anonymous tip. So that was you. Why didn't you say anything right away when he got in the van? I don't know, I panicked, okay? I, I said he was suspicious and I hoped you'd uh, take, it in for, take it from there. I didn't want to implicate myself by drawing attention to the car. I see, a white van. Did you catch any more details about the driver? No, I'm sorry. What does Diaz look like? Skinny, tall, red hair, red beard. Please, you understand, I didn't think it was a big deal. You can't tell anyone. I can barely make ends meet. I can't lose my job or go to jail. I have a son. I'll think about it. <laughs> mm, I don't want to be the dick who's like, nope, you go to jail now. Oh, hi. Sorry for suspecting you earlier. You just seemed very sinister when you came out while I was checking the tracker. Gary! I think I might know how our guy escaped. He bribed the bartender to turn the vehicle tracker in the backyard. After she did that, a white van came and picked him up. The bartender gave an anonymous tip to the police when she realized Diaz had lied. Sounds like a risky plan. Banking on cooperation and silence of a stranger like that. I think that part was probably improvised. The tracker was only installed two days ago. Hmm. You think she might have an, uh, been an accomplice from the get-go? Unlikely. If she was, I don't think she'd have called in the tip. And she'd be long gone now too, right? She'd be a part-time employee that's going to vanish soon. Uh, we should have her arrested to be sure. No, I say we leave her be. Honestly... We've got a bigger fish to fry. What are you talking about? She's clearly involved in the whole conspiracy, knowingly or not. If she not knowingly, like she's told us everything of relevance. She did something she thought was insignificant to make some extra money. She's probably underpaid and she has a kid. Do we really want to risk her going to jail? Should have thought of that. Knowing makes us complicit. We'd be breaking the law. The law and justice aren't always the same thing. Gentlemen, I've been looking into that white van while you were talking. A vehicle matching the description passed a nearby security camera and about the right time. Pretty sure that's it. I followed the trail. It was last scanned a few minutes ago and seems to be parked now. Where? Lower layers. A few train stops away. Excellent work, comrade. You go check it out. I'm waiting for the chief here. He's on his way. Wants to see the place for himself. I'll get back to HQ and um, I'm off. More help with the database at my fingertips. Okay, copy that. I'll catch the next train and keep you posted. We are the law. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, I, I would say like if she'd only just started working here, she's an accomplice. She's a plant. She's someone who came here to facilitate, you know, and then she's going to disappear. But she's not. She's a long-term employee who, you know... If she's an accomplice, it's like, well, who else has he got in the city that just happened to be helping him that are long-term people who've lived here and worked here? It's very unlikely that she's involved, so it makes no sense to me to be like, let's arrest her. It's a waste of time at this point. All she can do is tell us what she's already told us, and we're arresting her out of spite. So stop being a dick, Gary. Jeez. I go talk to her at least one last time and be like... You know, it's cool. All right, no, okay. I was hoping to be like, it's cool. You can, you can relax. Uh, we have the sheet. Can we submit this yet? No, we can't. Interesting. All right, let's go. Justice waits for nobody.
Are we going into this district? Okay. We're going into the funky one, the party district. This person looks like they're walking with their head on backwards. Look at this guy. <laughs> hmm? What you looking at? I see you checking me out. That's right. Clues, clues. Here we go. <clears throat> this is it. Uh oh. A flickering light. Classic. Hey, Neil. Did you find the van yet? Looking at it now, seems like they dumped it. Figured as much. I dispatched a team to your location that will give the van a thorough screening. Uh, you should leave it behind and go after the perp now. Maybe they're still close? Be careful. I'm looking into Mr. Diaz some more. His ID seems to be completely fake. Color me shocked. There's no record of it before he checked into the hotel. Fake IDs are very hard to come by, though. You need a surgeon to put it in and a very good hacker who injects it into the federal database. This is yet another sign that we're dealing with a big fish here. Or more likely, a bunch of them. Copy that. Thanks for the heads up. Fishing is my favorite hobby. I'll get them. This must be the van we're looking for. It has no plates. Mm-hmm. Okay. Punk. Oh, yeah. You don't look like you're here for the concert. I wish I was. Can I ask you a question? Did you see a person that landed the van over there? Do I look like a snitch to you? Do I look like the police to you? Fair. <laughs> if you're not a cop, what are you? Neil Conrad, CDI. But damn, CDI? That's even worse. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not a cop. I'm worse than them. Look, did you or did you not see the driver? I'm trying to find out where they went. I've only been here a few minutes. My dog needs to take a leak, and then we're going back in. Taking your dog to a concert? He appreciates good music. Are we done? If you didn't see anything, or anyone suspicious, yeah. Look, man, everyone around here probably looks suspicious to you. If you want to do some actual good, have a look around down by the pier. My friend Rob keeps having trouble with his business. Some asshole climbs into his boats... Uh, yeah, some assholes climb into his boats and leave their shit behind and make a mess. That's maybe something to look into, but then you're not really interested in helping the community, are you? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're about to go to war with another country, another planet, actually, because their foreign minister was assassinated, but let me go look in some littering. You have me all figured out. You have fun at the concert. Jesus. So I get it, yeah, that needs dealing with as well, but there's a time and a place for that shit, you know? Honestly. Would you like me to frickin' pull a cat out of a tree as well? Is that gonna be, uh, something you need? Ooh, we have, uh... Welcome to Port Bureau Canal with Numbers. Okay, cool. And... Is this, is this an information center? Okay. Use it, so... Maybe go downstairs? Oop. This guy's like, oh jeez, my boat, they wrecked it again. What's with the fancy suit? I don't know, what's with the weird hat? Tell me, I tell you. We still have smokes. Okay, we're good. I don't need to buy more smokes, I'm good. That looks broken. Rope on this bollard has been cut recently with a blue pocket laser. <gasps> oh. I like how the laser leaves behind, like, a blue glowing residue. That's pretty cool. Laser particles. <sighs> and as we take a smoke, a man passes by on a boat with a viola in a case. <laughs> and we're like, huh? Ah, there he is. Hmm.
We got one more clue here. Talk to this guy, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Huh? Have you been here all night? Who's asking? Neil Conrad, CDI. I'm here investigating a case. CDI? Every time you're looking for a culprit, it's always down here, huh? We're all from the same city. Sure as hell don't feel like it. I noticed a rope over there that looks like it's been cut off recently. Do you know anything about that? Did someone steal a boat? Did Rob call you here? Rob? Heh, <laughs> didn't think so, but he's still gonna want to talk to you. Rob! Somebody robbed Rob. Someone's here about your boat. Well, tell him to get up here. You heard the man. Oh, Jesus. What's with the fancy suit? I told you. What's with the fancy hat? Alright, can I, uh... No, no clues in here. Hey, that's the first time the cops have responded to my call. I had some punks vandalize one of my boats last month and nobody showed. Um, look, I'm not here with the police. Neil Conrad, CDI. CDI? What the hell are you doing here? Investigating a different case. You might be able to help me. What about helping me? Hey, the people took your boat? I'm gonna look for them, you'll get it back. Why does the police ignore me and everyone I know? I don't know, but you have to listen to me. The man who stole your boat might be very dangerous. Help me find him and you'll get your property back. When did he steal it? It's 3.40 now. Um, a good hour ago. Heard the engine start and then Ed yelled something. Ed, the man down by the pier? Yeah, he wanted to stop the guy, but an old man, you know? So I went out to see, like, what was going on. The boat was already leaving the port. I see. How long has he been in the harbor, uh, prior to being stolen? Oh, like, for over a week, man. Wasn't booked a lot lately. Is there a way to track it? All the boats that go in and out of our pier are scanned at uh, the port entrance. Uh, the port AI next door has the data. Uh, maybe they'll spit it out if you tell them that you're law enforcement, man. All right, I'll give it a try. What's the ship's ID? No idea. It's t it's called Berta. All right. So you don't have a record of that? I don't know what to tell you. It's Berta to me. Okay, well, uh... Will that name show up in the system? No, but it's uh, painted on the side. Okay. Do you know anything about the thief? No, except, like, it's probably some Savian or something. What makes you say that? It was like Savians who vandalized my boat last month. Is that all you're basing the assumption on? Well, makes sense, doesn't it? Did you see the thief? No, but Ed saw him. Ed didn't seem keen talking to me earlier. Oh, he's an old grump, that's for sure. Any chance you can convince him to help me? Ha! Nobody tells Ed what to do, man, and I'm, like, not into that whole thing, you know, telling people how to live their life or putting, like, expectations on them. Uh, least of all, y'all upper folks. Uh, one of your bureaucrats chased him out of this old harbor. Uh, if he ever had any sympathy for you, that's where it ended for sure. Alright, sounds like that's something important to Ed, huh? Ah, oh, won't shut up about it, so, uh, like, are you gonna bring my boat back or what? I'll do the best I can. If it turns up, I'll let you know. Radical man, take care. <clears throat> Let's find Berta. Look, old dude, I'm sorry about your peer and everything, but just help the bro out. Excuse me, sir, your friend told me you saw the person who stole the boat. And what if I did? Uh, you could describe him to me? You know, it'll let me track him down. Uh, you're a CDI, you said? That's correct. That means you're concerned with crime, right? Like fraud and theft. Sometimes, yes. You also help out folks from around here? Hmm, I help everybody. Why do you ask? Look, I was thrown out of Matuna Harbor the other day. Okay. When I bought this boat, a young man, uh, well, I bought this boat as a young man, it came with a spot there. Now the whole area's been turned upside down. Construction everywhere, rich folks moving in. 
First, they tell us it's no big deal for us locals, then two weeks ago I'm loading my boat. They asked for money, new management, they said. Of course, I didn't want to pay up. Truth be told, I couldn't have anyway. I called the company and all I hear is a lawyer's gibberish, so I decided to go elsewhere. Look at this pitiful pier. I've been staying at, it's not a single decent pub in sight. If you help me get my spot back, I'll tell you what I cuss, what I saw. All right, I'll see what I can do. I can put in a good word. You, you being a good citizen and all, it's like, look, let this guy back over here. Okay, I'll try. I'll be damned. Seems like things are finally looking up. Let's connect to our cells. You can call me as soon as you have my spot back. Okay. Here's what you need to know. My spot was at Matuna Harbor, right next to the Red Herring. The Red Herring? It's a pub, the best one there is. I see, very clever. Uh, that's where you'll find my friend Fred, the harbor master. Go talk to him, it's a few miles down the canal from here. A few miles, can't you just tell me? This is really time sensitive. Ah, we have a deal, like I said, I gotta shoot my shot. I bet it'll have to wait a little, I'm following off trail right now. I have my first side quest. This is how it begins. Well, we can go to the info terminal here. Welcome to Port Bureau, visitor. What can I do for you? Show me the recent traffic data for the harbor. Access denied. Traffic data is not a matter of public record. Neil Conrad with the CDI. Scan my ID. Scanning. Welcome, Agent Neil Conrad. What can I do for you? <sighs> Today's traffic data. Come on. Let's go. Understood. Displaying traffic data. Anything else? That's all. Right. Hey, any updates? Uh, not yet, but maybe soon. I think our guy stole a boat. A boat? Why would he do that? Uh, to avoid scanners, boats aren't tracked as closely as cars or pedestrians. Still, the boat should be easy enough to find. They're slow there, and uh, there are scanners at every port entrance. Thing is, what if it never leaves the port? What if it just goes to another part of the port? No! <laughs> Side quests! Distractions! The problem is that I do not, don't know the boat's ID yet, but I do have a record of local traffic data on the screen right here. Traffic data again, huh? Do you know when the boat arrived and when it left? Uh, approximately. Should be able to identify the right one on that list. Just give me a moment. Okay, send it uh, to me via keypad as soon as you do. I'll call you back if I find the boat. Will do. Talk to you in a minute. Investigate. Damn. Oh, boy. Okay, let's remind ourselves. Uh, log? Oh, it's Rob, not Ed. Okay. Chill, dude. So, 3.40 now, about an hour before. So, sometime bef uh, you know, 2.40 to 3.40, heard the engine. Well, around about 2.40, basically. So, we're looking for something around 2.40. And it'll be outgoing, not incoming, right? 2.41. 2.39. So, it's going to be one of these three, probably, right? Oh. Hey, Miss Prague. Winning? We're kind of. Yeah, we're trying. But we can send it via keypad. Oh. One of these three down here is the boat we need. And they said the boat hasn't been out. They said that it hasn't been out in a good week. Oh, so if that's the case, that it's been a week or so since the last time the boat went out. So, 683098. The boat went out. It's not that one. See, we're using the noodle now. We're using the noodle. This is just a day ago. This is the previous day that boat went out. So we can scratch that one. 220190. 0190. 
Ooh, that one didn't move anywhere. And what about this one? 788901. There it is. That boat came and went as well. So it's this one. 220190. Excellent. Gotta get back to work. Wanted to leave a look. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, can I not? How do I do this? Zero one nine zero keypad. I do. What? Boom. That's the boat we're looking for. Can I take a minute to sit? Just you know, have a quick rest. So we gotta get on the train. Where's the team who are gonna comb this thing? Oh, here we go. I got the ID you sent me and I found the boat. It's not that far away from you. Arrived in another harbor just a few minutes ago. I'm sending you the location right. Ito? Hold on, I think I got a hit. A hit? On Diaz's ID chip. I, got, I just got picked up just now. It's right next to the harbor where the boat docked. We definitely got the right one. Yes! See, I'm good at this. Diaz passed through the train station on foot. So we got on the train. No, he was scanned at both exits. Oh, he went through and out the other side. You're the closest agent to the current location. Get over there, stat. I'm sending reinforcements. Copy that and the boat. Go after the sniper first. We can check the boat later. I'm sending you the coordinates. Get back on the train now. What if he just slipped the ID in someone else's pocket and we're chasing a red herring? I'll keep you updated. Damn, who's this golden god I'm standing next to? Jesus Christ. Matuna resident. Wait, they went to Matuna? Oh boy. Okay. He's Super Saiyan 1 form, yes. Oh, he got off somewhere else. Damn. I wanted to bask in the gloriousness. Let's download some news. Who is Joseph Banny? He is a corpse, is who he is now. Everybody knows Joseph Andrew Banny is one of the figureheads of the uh, push for the Drovian independence, but what kind of person is he in private? A dead one. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> what are his fears and concerns? Getting shot in the head by a sniper. What are his goals and his needs? To be alive. Um, yeah. The Garin Gazette had a peek behind the curtain and found a dead body. Uh, Ban uh, Banny was born in the late 1700s in New, in New Joran, uh, when his father started a new job at the mines of Sector 2. Oh, Banny was a, se a Sector 2 kid. His family moved to Drovia. After barely surviving the deadly collapse, he relocated again to Sector 1. Interesting. Hmm. Wait a minute. Joseph, okay. I was like, was it like... What was the first name? Hang on a minute, no, Joseph Andrew Banny. There was that kid, right, who was just a dick at the beginning of the game? Um, but no. I think his name was Andrew. But... His father started a new job in the mines. Was it... Sec if he was the head of security, it's him. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. In interviews and public discussions, Banny emphasizes the exploitation his family suffered at the hands of the colonial rulers. Like many other Saviant families, he says they always struggle to make ends meet, despite working hard and long hours. Banny usually fails to mention uh, the Garan Grant for the Drovian talents that enabled him to study law and ultimately kicked off his career in politics. I mean, you know, fair. But not everybody gets that. 
In an interview with Drovian, uh, Drovia today, Banny declared that securing a better future for his own and all of Drovian children was his ultimate goal. He has two college-age college sons, Harris and Tim. Uh, from his first wife and two-year-old daughter with his new, much younger wife, Lisa Lacoste. He met as an advisor in a legal team. A few months ago, however, rumours of yet another relationship crisis began to spread when Banny was spotted multiple times in inappropriately private settings with his secretary, Ms. Lauren. We, I kind of got that was going on. Hey, Nanny, hello! <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub. How is it going? 23 months? That's fantastic. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Um, how can it be another month already? Thanks for the entertainment. No problem. Thank you for being here. It's always good. Classic politics indeed. Yes. Okay. Let's keep moving. We got a murderer to find. <gasps> they cut through here? No. The Joker is here. Holy shit. Let me get a cigarette. I haven't got time for a smoke, but I will. <laughs> we are grizzled and hard-boiled. They've literally got like a neon like base thing here. Can I not get past this? Like, what is going on here? Maybe we're supposed to comb the area for clues. We can't go any further that way. Oh, here we go. An ad for a bar named the Red Herring. It's the harbor just past the train station. Can I go the other way? Get past this person, possibly, but they seem to be fighting with the roof. What the shit is going on here? Um... Talk to any of these people. Hmm. It's a roof worm. Oh, oh, hang on. I thought this was like a gigantic roller door. It's a freaking staircase. Take another cigarette? Jesus. Grindle, get your hands off me! Oh, uh, please stop resisting, ma'am. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Yeah. Why am I being arrested for? You have no right! I want to talk to my lawyer. Do you have a lawyer? Maybe, you don't know. Let's calm down. Oh, let's call them down to the station then, because that's where we're going. Why are you wasting your time on me? There's a guy with a rifle around here. Miss Grindle, there isn't. Let's go. Now, hold on a second. Neil Conrad, CDI. CDI, Central Department of Investigation. I see that you're a good officer. You know these things. A uh, case leads me here. May I ask what's going on? I'm so glad you're here, sir. There's two officers are making grave mistakes. The whole quarter should be in lockdown right now. There's a man with a rifle around here. Miss Grindle calls us every week. Last time it was for a car that was too large for its parking spot. <laughs> oh no. She's one of those. She's a Karen. Look at this. This obscenely large vehicle in this parking area. Before that, she called us to on a street vendor because he was lurking outside the apartment block. She's been doing that for a long time, and we're finally bringing her in for wasting our time. Sir, please, you're with the CDI. Your oath demands that we take me seriously. I don't recall an oath about that, Mrs. Grindle, but don't you see I'm one of yours? Your CDI? Uh, no, I'm an upper. I don't belong down here. When my husband was still alive, we had a nice place in the upper layers. Oh, really? It had sunlight and proper walls, no drug addicts lingering around the entrance. I've just fallen on hard times for a while. Enough. You've been living here for 12 years. Let's go. Sir, I swear I overheard some dangerous people. They have a gun and there's some important data or something. 
They killed someone already, she said. It's done. She said it's done. And he said he's dead. Or she said, is it done? Oh, so there's a woman. Oh, I bet it's the wife. Oh, bet it's the wife. That bastard's cheating on me. Shoot him dead. Damn. Or the bartender. No, she's, she's arrested, probably. Actually, no, we did not arrest her. But I doubt she got over here in time, you know? But if it is, that would be my... Damn, I've been fooled. Could you tell me the story from the start, please? I was watching something online when I heard voices coming from the apartment next door. I was surprised. I was always so quiet that I wasn't even sure it was someone lived there. The man and a woman, they seemed to be fighting about something. I wanted to make sure it wasn't domestic abuse, so I turned off my program and listened. You never know down here. Wow, okay, little Miss Busybody. Um, what did they fight about? I can show you. When I got suspicious, I started recording them with my cell. Did what? That's a violation. Just listen to it. The things they talked about. Could you send the log to me, please? Yes, of course. Officers, stand down a moment. Okay. Thanks. I'd like to, like to ask all of you to stay put until I've had a look at the conversation. You're wasting your time, with, but whatever, we'll wait. Look, somebody was just assassinated by a man with a rifle that I tracked here. Would you like my life story as well, officer? Calm yourself. <laughs> this is Grindel, dangerous people. You really did a number on your face, but I have to say I kind of like the new look. Oh, I don't. Are you drunk? You don't have to be drunk to have an opinion on your new face. So somebody just had plastic surgery. When you... Oh, uh, yeah. Smell like whiskey. This is the one. What the hell happened to your arm? I cut myself. It doesn't matter. Wow. Ah, this is hideous. Really a shithole. Mm -hmm. I've only been staying here for a, a few days. Where's your violin? It's a viola. Are a bit different, okay? Funny, I gave the rifle to Zora. Listen to me. Don't have much time. I passed uh, by a scanner on my way here. They're probably on my tail already. Fuck! What are we? What were you thinking? You're still wearing the ID chip? Why didn't you go straight back to HQ? Have it taken out. HQ? Whoa. Do you have a conspiracy here? Were you able to procure the data? Yeah, the old man didn't suspect a thing. Listen, you don't need to give it to me. The boss called and said there was a change of plan. I'll take care of the handover. <clears throat> I called the guy we're meeting, told him that I wasn't coming instead of you, or that I'm coming instead of you. Uh, he seemed a bit pissed though. I think I woke him. Didn't expect him to be sleeping at 11. That was from the hotel. That was the call. That was the call at the hotel. Are you out of your mind? They know your ID and they'll catch you for sure up there. I know the route and uh, you were gonna uh, that you were gonna take. I know how to get on and off uh, Joris Plaza without being scanned. Why didn't the boss tell me all about this? And why the fuck did we change plans? I talked to the boss after the hit. He told me to come get you. No idea why they... Come on, Zora, give me the stick. Need to get a move on now and the CDI could be here any minute. Boyt. Your blah blah blah. Okay. We got a name now. It's not Diaz, it's Boyt. Okay. Let me get my stuff. Give me the stick. Fine, here it is. Where are you going? We should split up right now. Keep your head down and wait for me to get in touch. Get to the blah blah blah. They won't be able to track me if I blah blah blah. 8.30, Boyt, you're not making all this up, are you? Crazy, of course not. Now, let's get this mission over with. Come on. Be careful out there, okay? We're so close to getting out of it all. You too. So, her job, it seems was to obtain some data from an old man. What if that turned out to be the boat guy who was driven off the pier? 
and they needed that location. It's mission. Old man didn't suspect a thing. Okay, interesting. I still can't do this. He won't have a, a viola case anymore, but we know he has a cut on his arm, but he apparently doesn't have the case anymore. Hmm. I gave the rifle to something something. So he doesn't have it anymore. Okay. Yeah, Karen actually got vital information, right? They can help solve crime now. Yeah. Oh, what do you think of the conversation? I need to see that room. That they were in. Can you show it to me? See, I knew there was something fishy. Follow me. Thank you. What's this about? What's going on? Above your pay grade. Shut up. <laughs> this might be important for a case I'm working on. What case? Classified. We'll read about it in the news tomorrow. Alright. Scanning for clues. It's where I live. The voices came from right next door. Thank you. Watch my back, officers. Hello? Anybody home? CDI, open up. You're surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Or on your head, or whatever. I don't think there's anybody. Shh. Not coming out. I'm opening the door on the count of three. One, two, <laughs> bam. Everybody on your knees, hands on your heads. Get down, I'm coming in. Police, nobody move. Oh wait, it's clear, never mind. Stay in the corridor, everybody. I'll have a look around. And that was intense, right? Girl, you get to be part of something cool right now. Oh, what is this? Hum. Okay, a key under the bed. Apartment 9. Excuse me, Miss Grindle. I found this key here. Any idea where it might belong? Oh, Trump's here. <laughs> oh, really? Let me take a look at the tag. Apartment 9, huh? It's for an apartment in this building, but they changed the way the rooms are numbered. How do they do that? Like, let's just jumble them up this week. Yeah. The tag belonged to the old system. My apartment number used to be four. The one you searched was five. There's a floor plan over there. Maybe you can make sense of it. Thank you. Conrad, what's going on? Hey, Gary. Uh, we just got really lucky. I think the Mrs. Grindle over here called the cops on our guy. Looks like the real name is Boyt. Met a woman named Zora in this apartment here. I mean, it could still be aliases. Yeah. How did he know you're up here? He's the shooter? No, because uh, Saito called in backup, right? They tagged it, and he probably tracked us, so... But you never know! <laughs> I have parts of a recorded message between the two. I'll send it to you now. Where'd you get that? Let's say Mrs. Grindle is very interested in her neighbor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. From what I understand, she's a very vigilant neighbor. Yeah. What I understand, the woman stole uh, data from an old man and gave it to the sniper. He, in turn, is going to hand it over to an unknown third party at Joris Plaza, 8.30. Good job, Conrad. I'm imme um, I'll immediately inform the chief that we have to intercept that handover. What would the snipers uh, physically bring? Uh, or why would the sniper physically bring the data to someone, though? Only explanation we have for that is that it's tagged, uh, that the network will pick it up as a leak. Uh, that would mean that it's highly confidential data from the government. 
best reason I can think of, but maybe they're just being extra careful. Hey, I found a key to an apartment and the woman uh, was hiding it, um, and it belongs to another unit in this building. We could find more answers there. You know which one it is? There's a number on it, but they changed the way the rooms are numbered. Mrs. Grindle said her apartment was four, and this one used to be five in the old system. There's a floor plan on the wall. I know. <laughs> Maybe you can figure out the way the rooms used to be numbered. I'll call the chief and bring him up to speed. All right. Oh boy, what the fuck is this? So now they're 21 and 22, and it used to be 4 and 5. Okay, and this is the broken staircase, right. So if that used to be 4 and 5... We could assume that's probably 6, right? Very weird. So, tw so it's like 21, 22, 23, 31, 32, 33. Why is there a break there? So that should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's going to be that one, right? There's also numbers on the floor, they look old. It does look like an old one, but she said that, uh, I mean, if, if we take this as the you are here, thing, and that's the broken staircase here, look. And yeah, there's numbers here, but yeah, you're right, the, the, the numbers look old on, on the walls. But this looks old as well. Yeah, walls, not the floor, sorry, yeah. So this is like floor 2, floor 3, but it's like 02 and 03. And it looks like what the numbering system they've gone with now is like... It's like what we have in this building, you know? Like, the first number of your unit is like floor 1, unit 1, unit 2, unit 3. Floor 2, unit 1, unit 2, unit 3. So if they, if they had like just left to right, bottom to top. It would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So yeah, 33 would have been 9. So yeah, because it would be like now, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's three units per floor. But instead that's now number 33 because it's unit 3, floor 3. So it's over here. Of course, it's up the broken stairway. Go and get up there. This key won't fit, obviously, but it's up here. So how do we get up there, I wonder? Maybe additional stairs somewhere? Hmm. To me, it looks like we may have to use this, the fire escape. It's so telling that it only goes down to this floor. <laughs> and there are no stairs listed on these floors, look. Interesting, that's the only way up and down. That side, so we've maybe got to get up the roof. And if there's a break there, maybe we can get in there. Come back down. That is not what I needed to do. So perhaps we have to go down to go up, right? Yeah, this is still the same. Oh, saving. I felt sorry for the old lady. Descending through the layers was easy these days if you didn't have one of the few jobs that still existed. Basic income Go. wasn't enough for most people, even around here where living was relatively cheap. Although somehow our economy had never been more productive. Man, it's almost like the rich are hoarding all the wealth for themselves. We need to go up further. 
Ah, there it is. I see it. Yes, here we go. And there's a big green arrow here, just in case, you know, you miss it. All right. Well, it's obviously not that one. Hey. Yes. Oh, looky here. <clears throat> oh, no. <laughs> all right, all right. Hang in there. Hold on. I'll get you out of this. Is anyone else here? What are you doing, going to do to me? Are you with her? My name's Neil Conrad. I'm with the CDI. Oh, thank fuck. Take that as a good thing. Please, I need water. Of course, here you go. You hurt. I don't think so, just very sore. My wrists burn like fire. What's your name? Lila. All right, Lila, you're safe now. Let me call you a doctor. Hey, boss. Doctor. Okay. Medical team is on the way. Tell me what happened from the start. Okay, fuck, she... <clears throat> she was in here. She looked almost exactly like me. We know she got a new face. A woman was here? Is this your apartment? Yes, I tried to fight, but she was incredibly strong. It was like looking in the mirror, like I had a twin. She must have had some surgery to look like me. When did this happen? Came home fr from a client two, maybe three days ago. She was already in here. I turned on the light and I saw myself sitting right over there. I barely had time to react. She jumped me so quick she must have had some augments or something. Any idea why this happened to you? Why would she try to impersonate you? I've been racking my brain about that. Is there anyone she might be trying to get close to? I, I don't think I know anyone important except for my clients, maybe. The old man didn't suspect a thing. The old man is the client. It'll be some carousing high-level government official. Your clients? I'm making money on the side as an escort agency. Yeah, I got that. So, uh, I'm not a whore, if that's what you're asking. I mostly just dress well and go to dinner parties. We only have high-profile customers. I'm a student, and it's a good way to pay the bills. Uh -huh. Maybe she was trying to get close to a client then. You think? I mean, it could be I missed an appointment while I was tied up. I thought my boss would come looking for me, but nobody showed. So she, maybe she went to him, or... Oh no. What if she did something bad to him? You can testify I've been here all this time, right? Don't worry, you're not a suspect. Who was the client? A public official or something. I don't recall his name. Uh, he wanted me to spend a night at his place. My boss said he was a regular customer, but I've, I've never met him. Do you have any more dates to go on, name and address? Who's your pimp? I'll go slap the shit out of him and get the info. It was all on my cell, but the woman took it. I see. Is there another way to find the client's data? We might be onto something here. My boss at the Lotus Escort Agency has it all, just around the corner. But don't leave me alone, all right? What if he comes back? Oh, it's okay. Donald Trump's here now. You'll be fine. I'm staying until some reinforcements arrive. You won't be left alone. Knock, knock. Oh, hey, Gary. This is Lila. Uh, this is my partner, Agent Long. Gary, keep an eye on Lila here for a minute. You need to follow the lead uh, of her employer. I'll explain everything later, okay? Babysitting duty, huh? All right, I guess. Uh, nice to meet you, ma'am. Lila, how do I find the escort agency? Just go all the way up to the roof of this building, and you'll end up on the next highest layer. Uh, take a right, and you can't miss it. Thank you. Alright. I got an email. Did I? No. Okay, it's all new still. Okay, what about clues? Anything in the room? No. Okay. So we gotta go back up. Ooh. Oh, hi! <laughs> Maintenance guy's like, hey, let me uh, let me just move this for you now, you dick. Couldn't have been here like a few minutes ago. 
that's one of the game developers right there like okay we can we can remove the obstacle now <laughs> god damn you boy all right this... that looks like a lotus i think this is it just walk right in hi ding hello sir excuse me closed we're closed I'm not a customer. Neil Conrad, CDI. Oh, uh, good morning. Uh, that's a surprise. What leads you here? One of your employees, Lila. Lila, sweet girl, nice and reliable. Uh, when did you last see her? <clears throat> uh, not in a while. I just relay orders to her cell as they come in. Sometimes she doesn't accept. Mostly she does. But there was a client she had this week. I need to find more information about it for a case. Uh, okay. Did he do something to her? Tell you. Give me the name and contact details. Oh, Mr. Conrad. I would love to help you, really, but it's uh, very important we protect our client's privacy. Their privacy has already been breached. I'm sure you understand. I can't risk uh, my business and all that. Do I have to get a court order? Look, I can come. Uh, I can go and come back in with a court order. It's going to be a while. A whole. Th it's going to be a whole thing. Much harder to hide that you're telling me right now. It'll be a matter of public record. You hand them that info over there. So, uh, okay, Mr. Conrad, I have a proposition to make. I'm putting my business at risk helping you, but you could help me make up for the damage. There's another issue that puts me in a very uncomfortable spot right now. One of my employees has uh, quit on me despite her contract running a few more months. Take it up with the civil courts. I told her I needed her. She's already accepted several offers over the next few weeks. We have a reputation to uphold. Our clients would be really upset if I cancelled the appointments. Those are all high class people relying on our services. I told the local police already they wouldn't listen to me. But I have a contract right here, see? Signed and everything. If you could get her to fulfill her duties, at least the apartments she's already appointments she confirmed, then I guess I could help you too. Did she say why she wouldn't do it anymore? You ask her. She said she's quitting and she's been ignoring me ever since. How about it, Mr. Conrad? I'll talk to her. What's her name? Sheila Nowak. See what I can do, but even if she doesn't come back, you're helping me for trying. Okay, okay, fair enough. Tell her we're good if she goes to the clients she's already agreed to. Maybe she'll listen to you. And don't mind her family. They're weird folk. Sabians. Their unit is just below us. The fastest way down is through the big apartment building. Oh, how convenient. Do all of your uh, people live here? Do you, like, get a bulk rate or something for them? If you're back down at the train station, you've gone too far, and in the wrong direction. Well, that's good. I'm sure, I'm sure if I ended up anywhere other than where I'm supposed to be, that is the case. Back soon, stay put. Alright, I'm just gonna go and hide behind this dumpster. Then I'll be back in about three minutes and say, Nah, she won't do it. No, that probably won't work. <laughs> That'd be really cold if it did, though. It'd be really cool. Apartments just below said, right? Not that one. Is it this one? Okay. Of course, there's this floor here. I can't interact. Oh, maybe it's this one, the one with the lights on. say it was just below here, didn't he? Did he give me an apartment number? I don't remember him giving me one. Hang on, let me read, let me reread this. Uh, log. Unit is just below us. Down through the big apartment building. 
Well, just below is literally here. Well, actually, I guess not. It's... Actually, on this floor, isn't it? It's the gap in the wall. Here we go. Hi! Uh, <clears throat> good evening. Sorry for the intrusion. My name is Neil Conrad. I'm with the CDI. I'm looking for Sheila Noak. Is she here? What do you want from her? I would like to tell her that myself. I'll just let some foreigner talk to my sister. Tell me what you want. I showed you my badge. I'm not some foreigner. I'm an agent of this state. If that Thompson guy sent you, you're wasting your time. Sheila won't come back to him. I'll make sure of that. It's all right, uh, Antony. Uh, Antony? Antony? How would we pronounce that? Let me talk to him. I'll handle that myself. I won't go back to that scumbag. I won't let him intimidate you. Mind leaving us alone for a minute, Antony? Sorry for my brother. He's just trying to help. Oh, don't worry about it. So, what do you want from me? As your brother already assumed, Mr. Thompson from the Lotus Agency has asked me to pay you a visit. That's so. He told me you refused to meet your contractual obligation? And you're trying to force me to go back? Why won't you work for him? I mean, I get it, if you want to be out of that kind of life. What, uh, what if I go back inside and refuse to talk to you? Then Mr. Thompson will probably try to sue you. Listen, I'm happy to help you if your brother doesn't allow you to work, or if Thompson is forcing you into something. Let's go with that. I don't think the brother is like the whole, no, you're not going back. I think he's like, oh, thank God you don't want to do this anymore. I'll help you. If Mr. Thompson is trying to force you into something you don't want to do. No, he would never do that. Sure, he's a little annoying. But he's certainly not forcing any of the girls to do anything. Listen, I want to study space engineering on Femus, but I can't afford the fees. As a Drovian immigrant without a degree, it's hard to find a job, uh, a good job on Gara. That's why I've been working for Thompson, but now I have all the money I need. You already told me you confirmed several appointments for the following weeks. Uh, why did you do that? Wasn't it obvious that you'd have saved enough money by now? That, that's none of your business. Well, you can trust me with this. Uh, but you have to be honest with me. Didn't do anything that's against the law. Okay, then. You have no reason not to tell me. Got a call from a woman a few weeks ago. She didn't tell me her name, but she promised me a large amount of money if I cancelled all of my appointments for the next two weeks. Oh, so she booked up a long way in advance, then cancelled the more recent stuff because Zora paid her off so she could, she was supposed to probably go on the other job. That's how I felt like, you know, getting a job at an escort agency and just hoping that the contract lands in your lap that you need is kind of a risk. So much I didn't have to go back to Thompson at all, actually. And you didn't find that at all suspicious? Suspicious? No, I, I assumed it was some jealous part that was behind it. Wouldn't be the first time. You said she wanted you to cancel all of your appointments in the next two weeks. Which ones were they? Only one yesterday. I got uh, my friend Lila to fill in for me. Here we go. Oh, Lila, huh? And who was the client? A regular. He's been going to this place every month for the last uh, year now. Someone important? I. Why do you ask? I'm sure it was some jealousy thing. Please tell me who was the client. I don't think I can do that. Thompson will kill me if I give out the names of our customers. Hey, but if you're not going back to him, right? <laughs> it would be really important for me to know. Maybe he's in danger. Okay, I'll tell you if you promise you won't force me to go back to Thompson. Did you sign a contract? I have to understand. It's always been my dream to study space engineering, but my parents... Suppose you know that Savients have their own version of science. If my parents catch wind of my plans to go to a non savient university, they'll try everything to stop me. That's why I need to do it secretly, and Tony's helping me prepare everything without them knowing. My ship to Femus leaves tomorrow. Right? <laughs> I'm not gonna help the escort guy. Alright, look, I'll try to convince Thompson to leave you alone. 
Thank you so much. You wanted to know the regular customer name, right? His name is Liam Campbell. Lives in the center. Oh, Liam? <clears throat> All right. Do you know the exact address? 144 Rompolt Avenue. I hope he's all right. I'm kind of a friend. Pretty sure he's fine. Thank you and good luck at the university. Okay. So now we know. Liam Campbell. Liam fucking Campbell. It had taken a moment until it clicked because I never called him that. To me and the rest of my division, he was just the chief. <gasps> That's who oh. I tried to get close to. The director of national security at the CDI. My boss. Now what? Should I follow the chain of command and tell Gary? The chief probably wasn't too keen on everybody finding out about his habit. Maybe I should talk to him first. Then again, it might be too important for the case to be kept secret. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a predicament. It's like, do you want to be discreet and go direct to your boss first? And be like, look, I'm not going to tell anybody, but that escort you were with stole something from me. I'm going to go back to this guy and be like, yo. So, how did it go? I'm sorry, but Sheila won't come back. Ha! Mr. Conrad, I'm sure you're joking. I'm not. She's not actually coming back. But she signed a contract. I thought you were supposed to enforce the law. Listen, Mr. Thompson. I think I might have to threaten this guy. You will leave her alone. Forget about the customer I asked about. I don't need that anymore anyway. But if you don't leave Sheila alone, I will come up with something to have your place searched. I will go and get that court order and we will comb through your records, top to bottom, okay? I'm sure you won't want to risk that. It's the con book, and Lila's available. She's, <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure she hasn't got anything going on right now. Mr. Conrad, I must ask you to leave my agency. We're closed at the moment. What I said, Mr. Thompson, goodbye. Not make an enemy of me, man. Yeah, we gotta decide how we, didn't, how we handle this then, right? Oh, I can just go down the main stairwell now as well. So, that's good. What's going on down here? Can I talk to you again? No? Okay. Officers, you, you're not needed anymore. You can go. It's, you're dismissed. Huh? What's going on in here? Hey, Gary. Sorry about being short with you earlier. I had to follow an important lead. Was it worth it? It was. Let me f fill you in. Am I going- oh, did I just accidentally do it? Well, let's do it this way, if so. Apparently the woman that tied up Lila has a procedure done to look very similar to her. I suspect she impersonated her to get close to a customer. Lila told me as much we had a little chat earlier. I'm almost positive that the client is the old man the impersonator stole the data from. Yeah, the customer originally booked a different girl, but then somebody paid her to cancel the appointment. Wait, wait, why go through that trouble? Why not impersonate the original girl? I guess because she's his go-to. He knows her too well, would have noticed it's not her. Okay, um... How did they know that he'd uh, picked an alternative and not cancelled altogether? Maybe that's what he did in the past? Like I said, he's a regular. And how did they know it would be Lila? I don't think they did. The sniper said something about the woman's new appearance. Maybe they changed their looks after the appointment had already been accepted? That's a good point. Yeah, they like they find out who did it and then go and impersonate that person. And it healed within a few days? That's kind of tech is rare. Or she had augments probably as well. How is any of this connected to our case other than the perp ta uh, talking to that woman? I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. It seems like an entirely different operation. Any idea who the escort agency customer is? I'm gonna tell him. It's Chief. Here's the kicker. I think it's our Chief. What? Customer's name is Liam Campbell and his address is right in this area. Need to call HQ immediately. When did she meet him? Two days ago, I think. Alright, listen up. Meet me back at HQ in half an hour. Let's go over the, all the facts and get ready to interview that handover. 
I'll have Saito look into uh, the owner of the hideout apartment. Let's sort out the rest later. Catching the sniper remains the top priority. Copy that. See you at HQ. Yeah, we done it. Bad. As I was making my way back down through the maze of Matuna's living quarters, I tried to untangle the threads of the conspiracy before me. Every detail I uncovered seemed to open up a number of new questions. What exactly was the connection between the stolen data and Banny's murder? It felt like there was a bigger plan underneath, like we were just scratching the surface. Just scratching it. Oh yeah. All right. Okay, guys. Oh, last save 21 minutes ago? Oh, no. Yeah, this game has autosave. Uh, when we get the next autosave point, I'm going to have to leave it, because I've got errands to run in town. Can I go back in here, though? And oh, these are the medical... Right. Okay, yeah, there's nothing we can do here. I know, I'm sorry, I, I, but I've got, uh, I've got to go pick a couple of things up. So, and it's got to be around 1 o'clock-ish, 1.30, so I, I need to be getting ready to go soon. But this game has an autosave system, and it last saved 21 minutes ago. This is getting good, man. It is. It's such a cool game. This was just a let's look at session, but I think we're going to carry on with it. Uh, tomorrow will be Red Dead Redemption, though. Let me get more cigarettes. There we go. And 22 minutes ago. God damn. This game. I really dislike autosaves. We were also going to help that guy get his boat back, weren't we? Um, and we're in the area. Oh, there we go, saving! <laughs> right, so it saved because we moved into another zone. Alright, yeah, this is a good place to leave it, because I don't know how far apart these autosaves are spaced. So, uh, yeah, I gotta go, guys. I'm sorry about this, but we will continue this game.